Judaism deeply embraces the reality that the road to the heart runs through the mind and that moments of contemplation are needed to nurture a genuine relationship with God. During prayer, contemplation makes the abstract relatable and breathes life into one's relationship with God. Contemplation is the very fuel of prayer. Let us take a moment to experience this together. Before we begin, remember that the goal of Jewish prayer is to connect with God, with all of our being. That includes our pristine divine core, as well as our natural, more animalistic selves. Prayer liberates our godly soul, allowing our divine core to revitalize itself. But prayer is equally an opportunity to inspire our natural, instinctive selves by challenging ourselves to relate to God in a practical, tangible way. The prayer we will focus on today appears in the earliest moments of a Jew's daily prayer experience. Close your eyes as we read this brief prayer. Focus on its meaning and take a moment to internalize the powerful closeness with God that it offers. Elokai Nishama Shenasata Bi Tohorahi. My God, the soul you have placed within me is pure. My deepest core is radiant and pure. It is a spark of God Himself that God has lovingly installed within me. Ata Virata. Ata Yitzarta, Ata Nevachta Bi. You created it. You formed it. You have breathed it within me. What an incredible leap must the soul make to go from being a purely godly entity to becoming a soul that intimately interacts with a corporeal body in this material world. Viata Mishamra Bikirbi. You guard it within me. My divine soul longs to fly back to lovingly merge into its godly source. God must actively guard it from escaping corporality. But why does God force my soul into this experience? Because it has an important mission to accomplish to redirect my body and its natural, instinctive self toward godly goals. Viata atid litla mimeni. Ultimately, you will take it from me. I don't have forever to complete my mission in life. God installed my soul within me for a limited duration. I have enough time to fulfill my mission if I take it seriously. And you will restore it to me in the time to come there will come a time of ultimate reward and perfection, when bodies and souls will be reunited in an era in which godliness will merge with tangible reality. Kol zaman shehanashema bikirbi modeh ani lefanecha As long as the soul is within me, I will thank you. I acknowledge the responsibility of the mission for which you have created me. I resolve to make use of the lease of life to embrace my divine core, to actively assist it in redirecting me toward becoming a spiritually attuned person, and to elevate my character, sensitivities, and actions. Thank you. 